Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna tell you the full story of how I went to an international boarding school, high school, in Switzerland as a scholarship student. And this video is actually a part of a four episode series on this channel on the high school in Switzerland, which will probably close the topic of high school on this channel. There will be more on that later on, but for now let's start the story. Chapter 1. The formation of my dream. So even as a young girl from an average city and probably an average family from Poland, I always wanted to study abroad. And the reasons for that included just the pure curiosity of the world and the desire to live an adventure, but not all of them were so nice. Uh, but firstly, I really wanted to learn languages. I was fascinated by the idea of being a polyglot and I was just really interested in that and I thought that going abroad would certainly help. Then I also felt like I was kind of missing out on living in just one place for my whole life and especially that I, most of the people that I knew in Poland, they lived in more or less the same area their whole lives and I really wanted to explore something beyond that. Uh, then there was the influence of my family and friends. I knew many people who wanted to go abroad, uh, including my closest friends and my cousin. And I knew many people who wanted me to go abroad. So after some time that just felt like a normal uh, trajectory of my life, like something that I would just do. Uh, however, like as the time went by, I became a bit obsessed about it and sort of felt like if I don't go abroad, I'm gonna be worse. So that's not the best reason to go abroad if you feel like, oh, if, I'm, if I go abroad, I'll be worth something. If I don't, I won't. Uh, but this is just something that I experienced. So when I was around 13, I started reading a lot of blogs, which were really a thing back then. And I quickly discovered something called UWC, so United World College Schools, which are basically uh, like a group of schools around the world where you can get in by taking part in a competition, uh, your national competition. And then, you know, they choose like 10 people from every country to go to like all the schools. And yeah, it's pretty competitive, sounds fantastic. I read a lot of vlogs and stories and quickly became like totally fascinated by that. Chapter two, trying to be good enough. So I really started to read a lot about this topic and tr I was trying to find opportunities to myself, ways I could like go on an, an exchange or go to a school abroad. And I figured one thing, it is pretty damn hard for a teenager to go abroad and you need to be pretty impressive to get a scholarship to one of those schools. Oh, because I didn't mention that, but most of them are quite expensive. For example, the school I went to cost $100,000 a year. UWC schools are cheaper and they're certainly cheaper boarding schools, but like you need to count the cost in like tens of thousands rather than like thousands or cents. Anyway, I decided that I certainly wasn't enough and then becoming an impressive person and having extraordinary extracurricular achievements was the focal point of my life for some time. And many of you often ask me on my achievements that helped me get into uh, the school or like apply to the competitions and stuff like that. So here's the list. First, I learned English. Secondly, I got into the junior high school where I learned French. Uh, in that school, I set up a volunteering club with my friends, uh, which was pretty hard. We had to fight for that. And then I was also volunteering for two years straight every Friday, I think. I was giving math lessons to uh, disadvantaged children. And I was also like, I don't know, I was taking any volunteering opportunity that there was. I was also a finalist of the national or like international camp Rising Sand program. It's like a scholarship to go on a camp to, um, to the USA, like near New York. You can check it out if you want. I got a scholarship from my city. I also uh, was a finalist of the national public speaking contest. I took part in nine Model United Nations conferences and got many awards there and also took part in the European Youth Parliament uh, sessions and I was a representative of Poland in Sweden on one of them. I also won the second place in the national moot court. It's like a law competition where you also have to do some public speaking. I organized my own social project. I did a series of mini conferences 
and I went to every conference and event I could find uh, to learn more about like being an active citizen and stuff. While doing that, I had like zero fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking a bit, but you need to understand that um, I basically wanted to create this persona around myself. I basically wanted to be someone that I thought others, especially adults, would want me to be. Uh, so, so I was active, I was motivated, I was ambitious, I was like into politics and public speaking, volunteering, changing the world, stuff like that. Uh, some of those things I ended up liking, others I did just because. I remember around that time I was really worried about not having a true passion in life because after reading so much about uh, like the scholarships, competitions and so on, uh, I, I, it seemed like every person that got in there had their like passions in life figured out and I just didn't have that so I did the thing that seemed like easy to do which is like some debating, some public speaking uh, and yeah I never stopped to ask myself whether I actually liked it or not. And if you're by any chance worried about like the same stuff and you, if you're going through similar experiences of trying to get as many achievements as you can uh, whether it's for the university or, or high school let me tell you a couple of things that I learned first finding your passion is not that important just focus on doing what excites you and that will be a way better way of finding what you're truly interested in than just trying to find this like one thing that describes you in like one word you know being ambitious is basically fulfilling what others think you should do so be aware of that so you don't waste time in your life i actually discovered my true passions way later on the moment i stopped chasing them also i really learned a lot while taking part in the competitions and also taking part in all of the like extracurriculars that i mentioned before especially the model united nations sessions because i met a lot of people who also wanted to go abroad also had like this, the similar plans as i did this networking thing really helped me to understand what all of it was about this video is sponsored by me and my skillshare course <laughs> So if you're in high school and are looking for international opportunities for yourself, such as exchanges, high school abroad, scholarships, and find out that there is not much information out there, this is something for you. I'll be explaining step by step how the whole process works, how to find opportunities for yourself, and giving some examples and stories of other people. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up to the newsletter below. The course will be probably out within the next month so i'll let you know when it's ready if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer you can of course contribute in the comments or in the google form let's get back to the video chapter three applying to the schools so when i was in my first year of high school it was the time for me uh, to apply to for the different programs basically most of the exchanges and like scholarship programs are for people in high school and uh, they're usually for the last two years of high school so when i was around 16 17 it was just the time for me to apply i applied to flex uh, which is an exchange program to the usa and didn't get in i applied to uwc my dream and i didn't get in and then i applied to cambridge class which is the competition organized by the cambridge alumni society or oh, polish cambridge alumni society so this competition was the one that I found out the latest uh, about and it actually really resonated with me. The application was super fun to fill in and then the questions that they asked me on the interview were also like, I, I genuinely enjoyed the experience. Like it was super stressful, but I sort of enjoyed it. And then I had a third place. So this competition offered two scholarships, two, two full scholarships to the Lezen American School in Switzerland and there were actually three prizes so the two first places get that and the first place gets a scholarship to the like summer camp in the Lezen American School so I actually had a third place and went to the summer course which was super fun uh, but after that after the competition uh, one of the organizers approached me and said to me that actually there's another school that wants to offer me a scholarship uh, and that's the school I ended up going to. Actually, my, the way in which I got into the school was a bit unique because 
uh, well, I got to know about it from a different competition and then they sort of like send this whole recommendation of me to another school. Uh, so that's certainly not typical. If you want to know what's typical, you need to check out my free Skillshare course. <laughs> okay, it's not even there, but I'm just building up the excitement. Mm, but yeah, I still had to apply to the school. I needed to fill in the application, like motivational letters, financial statements. Uh, then I also had to take entrance exams in math and English. And there was an interview. So that was a lot, but around April I got the response and I got in. Chapter 4. Going to the school. So actually for a long time after they gave me the response, I didn't know what to say. That stands in opposition to what I said before, like me being obsessed about going abroad or not. But uh, when I was 17, I started to realize that A, my reasons the reasons for which I want to go abroad might not be the best because I, I, I shouldn't do that if just for my ego and like my self-worth. Then I realized that's a pretty big decision and finally I actually started to sort of like my life as it was. I finally start, found some friends, some peace, uh, I did the things I liked. I also got into a very nice high school which offered an international baccalaureate program. So my education in Poland could still be uh, international. I would get this exactly same diploma as in Switzerland. So I really wasn't sure what to do. And here I really want to thank my parents who were extremely supportive of me going abroad. Uh, and they even like organized uh, psychotherapy sessions for me so I could understand the motivations behind why I wanted to go or not. Um, and uh, yeah, long story short, I decided to go. I also made videos uh, about this school, like there are some vlogs that show the life at the school if you want to see them, if you want to see them. <laughs> now, the title of this video probably says something like the boarding school for free, which is technically true, but not really because, well, I had a 100% scholarship, but it didn't mean that my parents didn't pay for anything. They had to pay for the like pretty extensive insurance, uniform, pocket money, also for the flights. Um, and yeah, you know, like it's always more expensive than you think. Uh, overall, I think they paid around $4,000, which is way less than the tuition, but like still. However, I know people who paid even less than that because they had some organization to pay uh, for the flights and for the insurance or for example they bargained with the school to ask for a lower pocket money they would basically get less on a weekly basis than others um, so you know there, there are different ways to do that and at last as you see i'm not really mentioning the name of my school here and i, I want to tell you why because i know there will be comments about that uh, Firstly, like if you want to know what the name of the school is, you have ways to found, find out. I mentioned that in my other videos. I responded to that in like many comments. So if you really want to know, you will figure it out. And then I really don't want to make all of this about that school, especially that I ended up resigning uh, from the school after some time. So I don't want to like give them a bad name or something because I really don't mean that. And the continuation for, of this story, including why I resigned and how I later on finished a year in two high schools in two countries at the same time will be in the next video. So um, yeah, if you have any suggestions to me regarding this series and what you want to hear about, or more importantly, if you want to hear about something specific in the Skillshare course, you can still let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I have a whole playlist on the Swiss topic. So uh, I guess you can figure out by the titles what the videos are about and find something for yourself if you're into that. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you on my other videos. Bye.